Samson article, the House of Representatives sets 6 in the evening as a date for voting on the ministerial curriculum and cabinet. Jeff today is a critical day for Iraq and our investment. Article. Deputy. Parliament will vote on 70% of the Sudanese booth today, that's approximately 16 out of 22 ministries will be voted on. They'll be voting on that cabinet around 6 p.m. later today their time. Iraq is sitting at 95% ready to revalue. They're right at that finish line. They're ready to almost do this. Once they vote and complete that government they will have met the central bank's requirements 100% to be eligible to revalue the currency. Frank 26 it seems. Like week after week, month after month we've been waiting for them to sit their government. I believe deep in my heart we're in a position where they're about to do that. In fact we've told you over and over again that the only thing that we're looking for is for an announced, already seated and already functioning government. They say they're going to have it very soon. Probably this weekend. Pimpy I think the first move is going to be to restore the dinar to its previous exchange rate. They're saying 1200 dinars for every dollar. The real question is going to be how long until they do it again. My guess is they're going to wait somewhere around 90 days to see what kind of effect it has on Iraq and the economy as a whole. If it doesn't look like it's doing too much damage I think that you can expect another increase at the beginning of next year, and a possible second increase in the year 2023. How much of an increase really depends on how the economy is affected over in Iraq and what's going on globally Mark Z, via PDK, like I mentioned last night, I do have a bond contact that received 100% of their money. What does this? bond deal mean for us? It means things are moving. They have to settle out historic debts and we always were told that historic bonds would go first. I believe it's rolling out like the original design. So seeing a bond paid in full is a major mile marker for the completion of our reset. Claire. Article. The House of Representatives grants confidence to the Sudanese cabinet, al Sadani. Our cabinet has won the confidence of the House of Representatives, Sandy Ingram big news and is one of the reasons we believe Iraq will come full circle and revalue their currency. Their actions. Say international connection. Article, Iraq is building the largest port in the Middle East and it will be one of the largest ports in the world when completed, rival the Suez Canal in Egypt. Caperoni guru Pimpi insists Iraq is going to raise the dinar value but he is wrong. Nobody has any authority over the central bank of Iraq including parliament Mark Z, via PDK, there are a number of pieces of information you all need to think about and not become chicken little. You are not going to have to go to Iraq to exchange. This will not be an issue. Another thing that has you guys worried? A recycled article that we have seen now four times minimum about them not being prepared to increase the rate yet because of a possibility of affecting the economy. Guys, verbatim and word for word you can find that article recycled whenever we are close. There were similar articles when they were close in Kuwait. Even one released the same morning they arved. This is totally smoke. We are in a phenomenal position right now. Militiaman article. In the document. Parliamentary signatures to restore the dollar exchange rate. Looks like. They are making headway gathering signatures for the country and the government to be ready for the. Next move. Seat the government and issue currency publicly. 1190 was not a previous official rate. The demonstrators are getting antsy. I would think that the governor is on notice. Get seated or get left out Frank 26 Firefly continues. As soon as you see that he is thinking we are on the right track. We wish for more but this is probably what's going to go down. Frank. Concerning the rate 1200, your bank friend is absolutely correct. That is the next stage in the monetary reform. 
to take the exchange rate to this level, because they can come out at $1.20 or they can take it to 1 to 1 but because the American dollar sucks, the Iraqi dinar does not want to be pulled down any further with the American dollar value. Therefore a $1.20 is being considered instead of $1 franc 26. Iraq Boots on the Ground Report, Firefly, My Bank Guy, he says we will see the pushback to 1200. Very soon but after that we will wait to see the effect this has on the economy and then he guesses. After another quarter they will gradually increase probably in 2023 and see what effect is then too. And follow the same time frame from there. Another small increase. This is the best he feels we. We'll see so watch for the 1200 to come into play Mark Z, via PDK. Let's start in Iraq tonight. Iraq's parliament approves new government, PM's office. This is huge news, the takeaway. Is Iraq made enormous progress today. Which is needed, and they are openly talking about the. Change in rate. MNT goat I need to cover something that was told to me almost a year ago and that is about the timing of the RV. In this news from my CBI contact I was told that they were working on the project to delete the zeros followed up with the reinstatement of the IQD. They said they had concerns about the election and they were going to wait until they see how the elections turn out to get the stability they needed. Will the CBI then act upon its said goals of completing the currency reform? The timing could not be any better as they would have to conduct the project to delete the zeros in the next couple months to get ready for a January 2023 reinstatement back to Forex Mark Z, via PDK. What will the rate of the dong be? I was hearing $2.25 or so, now I am. Hearing it could be in the $3 range. I hope that is accurate. 